Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to clean out a Bissell Power Force Compact uh, carpet sweeper, I guess you call it, or mini vacuum cleaner. This really is a nice unit. It's very light. It's great if you're going to uh, be using it in a dorm or maybe an efficiency apartment. Um, it does have the the brushes at the bottom has a pretty good suction and it's real easy to clean out. But like anything, occasionally you want to give it a good thorough cleaning to keep it working at optimal efficiency. So let's take a look at how we do that. So first let's see how you would normally empty it. What you would do is you push that button, it says release, and when I push that, it allows that whole canister to come off. Now normally that canister is going to be full of dirt. So let's take a look at how we release that. So here's your canister. And to release it, you can see right there, it says push to empty. So when we push that, the bottom comes undone. So it really is a nice, easy thing to clean. All I have to do, or to empty rather, all I have to do is hold it over the trash, open that up, shake it out, and then I snap it right back in place. Just like that. But occasionally this gets really dirty. So let's take a look at how to take it apart and clean it out. First to understand everything in here is plastic and everything can be run underwater in order to clean it. So one of the first things we're gonna to wanna to do is pop this latch, that opens up. The only thing you don't wanna get wet is this filter. This is what keeps dirt from getting into the mechanism, into the motor. But it's okay because you can buy new ones. You can go online, they cost uh, a few dollars. I generally, if they don't look really dirty, this one still looks pretty white and pretty clean, I will generally just vacuum it out and put it back. Now this housing will lift right out. It has a rubber seal. And then by giving this a twist, it comes apart. All of these parts can be washed underwater. Take it outside and do it on a hose or if you have a uh, some kind of a, a cleaning sink in your house these are going to be filthy dirty matter of fact let me show you all this hair that you can see here this hair was wrapped around that that spindle it was wrapped right around there and i just pulled it all off and then rinsed that out so this piece can just be rinsed in water as can this which just leaves the rest of the housing. And the rest of this housing, just as you're gonna open it, the whole thing opens up and just rinse it and clean it and wipe it out and scrub it really, really well. And we close that out. To get it back together, here's what we need to do. Just reverse things. We're going to take this and put it on and there's only one spot where it can go. You can see it's got these little grooves here and those grooves match up with some notches. I don't know well you can see them, but there's notches in there. So all you do is spin it around until it matches up and that snaps back together. Now it's a one piece again. Comes off very easily, goes back very easily. Now I just put that back in the canister. You wanna make sure that this opening lines up with this opening right there. That's the only thing you have to look out for. So to put it back in, I just take this, drop it in place, make sure that those two holes line up. And you'll see there's a little notch here. Okay, You see that notch? That notch will make sure that it's in proper alignment. It won't go all the way down until that notch is engaged. You just push it down. It doesn't snap in place or anything. Now you see mine's still a little wet. You can see a little bit of water marks because uh, I did clean it all out. Then if you clean out the filter, again, the filter has a little notch on it and you'll see the two notches to accommodate it. One right there, the big one, and one right there, it's a smaller one. And that way you can make sure that this is getting in place the right way. Meaning that paper side is in towards the 
suction that's going to be going toward the motor. That way we make sure there's not dirt and dust and, and gunk getting drawn into your system. Close that up. That's really all there is to it. Take a damp cloth and I would wipe off the rest of the unit and then we can snap this back into place. A little tricky to do with only one hand. And there we go. Crystal clean and ready to start using. It's a nice little unit, it's easy to clean and I hope that that helped you out.